All right, in this video, we are going to use this graph to answer some information like um, domain, range, zeros, the value of the function at zero, end behavior, and some other things. So this is problem number 10. Let's start with the domain. The domain is the x values. And this graph goes to the left forever, and it goes to the right forever. So that's why the domain is going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. The range is the y values. From bottom to top, this graph goes down forever, and it goes up forever. So the range is also negative infinity to positive infinity. The zeros are the x-intercepts. So these are the zeros here, here, and here. So that's why the zeros are negative 5 comma 0, um, 1 comma 0, and 8 comma 0. Now the value of the function at 0. In general, when you see function notation like this, it's in the form f of x is equal to y. In other words, whatever's inside of here is an x value, and whatever's outside of here is a y value. So basically, they're giving us the x value of 0. And they're asking us what is the y value that goes with it. So let's start by going to an x value of 0 and looking around. So an x value of 0 would be right here. So to get to the function, I have to go down to here. So that means at 0, I get a y value of negative 2. OK, so the function at 0 has a value of negative 2. OK, similarly, when you look at part e, when they say f of x equals 4, you see that um, we're having the x value right here. Um, this must be the y value that we're being given. And of course, we are being asked for the x value. So let's start by going to the y value that we're given, a y value of 4. So if I go to a y value of 4, that's right here. Now, I can get to the function by going to the left or to the right. If I go to the left, I'm going to arrive at the function right here. OK, this point has an x value of negative 6. OK, um, but if I go to the right, I can get to the function right here. This has an x value of 3. OK, so I've got um, negative 6, comma 4, and I've got, so far, 3, comma 4. OK, so I'm looking for x values that go with this y value. So, so far I've got two x values that go with this y value. Negative 6 goes with 4, and 3 goes with 4. But if I keep going to the right, there's even a third one at 7. 7, comma 4 is another point. So negative 6, 3, and 7 all have a y value of 4. OK, end behavior. End behavior is what happens at the end of the graph. I know, shocker. So um, it's all about what happens on the left and what happens on the right. Um, so as such, we always start off end behavior the same way. Um, for the left, we say, as x approaches negative infinity. And then when I, well, let's, we might as well go ahead and talk about that. So what happens on the left? So as I slide to the left, in the end, the graph goes up, 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 up. So as x approaches negative infinity, the function, the y values, approach positive infinity. That was the up, 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 up. Now, that was on the left. Uh, for the right, we say as x approaches 
positive infinity because we're going to the right. And then again, we're going to be interested in what does the function do? You know, what do the y values do? So as we go to the right on this graph, right here I am going to the right, going to the right, <clears throat> but in the end, I wind up going down, 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 down forever. So that's why as I go to the right, the function goes towards negative infinity. The y values go to negative infinity. So that's my end behavior. Now let's talk about increasing intervals and decreasing intervals. Um, these are all x values. When we talk about intervals, we're talking about x values. So, um, if I were traveling along this path, like a mountain range, um, and I'm going from left to right, part of the journey I'm going downhill, and then part of the journey I'm going uphill, and then part of the journey I'm going downhill again. Everywhere I'm going downhill is going to be um, decreasing, uh, a decreasing interval. Everywhere I'm going uphill will be increasing. So I'm going to be decreasing um, starting here, all right? In other words, coming in from infinity, uh, but then I'm going to be decreasing, decreasing, decreasing all the way down to here. Okay, and then I'm going to start increasing because I'm going to start going uphill then. So I'll be increasing, increasing, increasing until there. And then I'm going to be decreasing again. All right, so I'll go coming back to decreasing for the rest of the function forever. Okay, so um, let's do our one increasing interval first. So again, these intervals have to be x values. Okay, so the x values from from here to here, the x values are negative 2.5 to 5.6. So that's my increasing interval is from negative 2.5 um, to 5. <clears throat> okay, just the x value. So negative 2.5, sorry, negative 2.5 to 5, those are the x values. All right, now let's talk about the decreasing, the ones I drew in pink. All right, um, what's the x value sort of suggested by this arrow? Um, this is an x value of negative infinity, actually. Um, you might be thinking positive infinity because, look, it's going up. No, no, no. We're talking about x values. When you say up, uh, you're thinking about the y direction. This is going up, yes, but it's also going to the left. And we are strictly doing x values, okay, only x values. So all we care about is the left and right position. So it's because it's going to the left forever, that's uh, going to be negative infinity. And then um, right here, of course, um, the x value, once again, is the negative 2.5. All right, so from here to here is negative infinity to negative 2.5. That's a decreasing interval. All right, so negative infinity to negative 2.5. Okay, because there's two of them, we're going to have to do union and say the other one. So um, this one goes from here to here. Obviously, the x value here is 5, and uh, the x value over here is positive infinity. Again, it's positive because it's on the right. We don't care that it's going down uh, because that's y value talk. So 5 to infinity, the pink goes from here to here. Okay, we are putting round parentheses right at the numbers 5 and negative 2.5 because we can't include those values because right at the top of the hill, see how it goes from green to pink real quick? Um, right at the top of the hill, it's neither increasing nor decreasing. Um, for just a second, 
okay, is flat right there. It's, it's neither increasing nor decreasing. So we keep it round to show that we are not including those points. So the same thing over here. Right at the bottom is flat. Okay, at negative 2.5, it's neither de decreasing nor increasing. It's, it's zero. Okay, moving on. Is there an absolute maximum? Absolute maximum would mean is there a point that is the absolute highest point on this graph? No, there's no absolute max because this goes up forever. So no matter what point you say, there's a point that's higher. Um, so is there an absolute maximum? No, there's not. Where is the relative or local minimum? Um, well, local minimum, even though it's not the absolute minimum on this entire graph, um, there is a local minimum that's right here. Okay, this is the local minimum because it is at the bottom of its area. Okay, it is the lowest point in this neighborhood. Um, where is it? Remember, when they ask the question where, they are asking you for an x value. Okay, so where is it? It's at negative 2.5. Okay, um, so that's it for that. So that was number 10. I think I'm going to stop this video here.